So I've been doing some 3D modeling for a resource pack that I'm making, and I'm having an issue with uh, the fletching table and a few other 3D models. So you can see here I've made my uh, fletching table 3D model. It's quite nice, right? A lot of detail. I think it looks great. Now that's cool and all. Um, but unfortunately, it has a few issues when it's next to other blocks. So I'll just show you real quick. When I take uh, an end portal frame, for example, with its custom 3D model, and I put it next to two birch blocks, as you can see, there's no no apparent issue here, right? I don't see any you know clipping issues or anything like that. That's cool. Um, what's yeah, yeah. So this is the fletching table when it's next to two two blocks, right? And these are birch blocks, but it really doesn't matter what it is. It can be any block, right? Still have the problem. Uh, actually, that's not true. Not any block, but I'll get to that. Point is, is that when it's next to a block, for some reason, the edge of the block becomes... The, the texture just disappears. Now, that makes sense if you've ever been in spectator mode, because you go into spectator mode, and you move between blocks, and you can see, right, they're all hidden unless you know, they're next to another block. However, that's not so great because when using this fletching table right here, I don't want to be able to see through my blocks. Now, it's not just the fletching table. It's also the cartography table. You can see the globe here. Right behind the globe, I can see in to the birch block. It's very annoying. I don't want to be able to see there. And uh, it's I don't know why this happens, but it's it's really bugging me. Um, and I don't know how to fix it. I've tried many things. It's just like re reloading it or just changing the size of the actual model sometimes, and that doesn't seem to help. Uh, maybe it's just because of the certain blocks are like coded, hard coded into them that they they're built this way. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. It doesn't happen on this one, and it it does it does happen with the fletching table. But something funny is that. If I put the fletching table next to another custom 3D model, there's no issue. See, this is what it should look like, right? I'll put it next to the cartography table, no issue. That is what it should look like, right? Next to these custom 3D models, and there's no issue. Uh, same with this one. And uh, uh, we'll do. See, with the same with the barrel, because this is a 3D model. Um. So yeah, I have no idea what's going on here. Uh, I think I'll just move on to the next texture or models and textures for now. But if for anyone who is like experienced with resource packs and they've run to this issue where all of a sudden the texture disappears because of uh, some sort of a collision between the two blocks, I don't know what it is. Maybe they're trying to connect. But yeah, if you if you have any ideas, please tell me. I'm I don't know what to do. I'm out of uh, concepts. And you can see here. This is the uh, 3D model for the fletching table. Um, if there's anything wrong that I'm doing here, I don't know. Like, Obviously, I know that these arrows are going to clip here. I'm okay with that because they're not going to stick out really. It's not It's not going to be an issue with that. However, it's just the fact that when it connects on an edge right here, you know, it, it just becomes invisible. And I don't know how to fix that. So, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with the uh, with the, the 3D model, but it, it, there must be, right? Because it's the only thing I can think of that would make the blocks clip into each other like that, or make one of the textures transparent. Um, so yeah, if you have any ideas, please let me know, because uh, it's not a good thing. <laughs> yeah.